Welcome back to another episode of Hannah sitting in her van talking at you guys. I'm so sorry. I feel like this is getting really repetitive. I'm gonna try and make this the last video for a while that I post where I'm just sitting in here and talking. Anyway, this van video is about my van cost, van build cost. And I saved all of my receipts from the entire build and they've just been sitting in this envelope waiting for me to make this video so I can finally get rid of this. <laughs> Two videos ago, I posted the van build video and that kind of just went over all the steps that it took to get to where we are today, which is this van. I'm basically gonna go off that video and as I go through the steps, I'm going to talk about the cost of everything, including buying the van, including gutting the van, including insulating, paneling, furniture, fridge, stuff. So I've got a spreadsheet on my computer. I put all of the receipts in order and, oops, sorry. I put all of the receipts in order, calculated them all, grouped all of that fun stuff into kind of columns and organized and then did all the math and added everything up. And so this is how we're gonna break it down. But before I break it down, I'm gonna give you the big number that was my, the entirety of what I spent on the van build and that is $6,223.82. I think there's a lot of things I could have cut out. I by no means was trying to be frugal. I felt like I was being kind of extravagant, doing things like tiling my counters. There were a lot of things along the way that I spent money on that you can get, you can absolutely get away with not spending money on. Okay, so we'll go step by step. So if we start with the main thing, is the van. I bought the van. They were originally asking for $3,000 and I haggled with them a little bit. I was like, well, I'm looking for something more in like the $2,000 range. Totally would've been fine spending 3,000, um, especially for what it is. The miles were good. It was like in good condition. It was a great van. So I got them down to $2,459. Then I had to go buy like license plates and registration and taxes and fee, all these fee costs. And that ended up being close to $200, it was $194. So right there, let's pull up a calculator because I suck. So right there, I spent $2,653 on just buying the van, owning it, it's mine, all of that stuff is done. Now I bought the van and it had a bunch of metal junk in it. And so I had to uninstall all of that. And unfortunately I had to bring it to the company that had installed it all in the van because it was hooked up to my the front of my van and radiator fluid was involved and even my normal mechanics wouldn't touch it. So I had to take it to them and they charged me $734.06. That brings the whole cost of just getting the van to square one to $3,387.06. I love that six cents. Could you not pay for uninstalling a bunch of metal junk in your van? Yes, so that was a huge cost for me. And that's almost, you know, that's almost a thousand dollars right there that I didn't need to spend. So that I would not figure into the entire van cost. So then after that, I had to buy all of the materials to build the van and that is going to be so I broke these all down into sections of what they all are. So that's this whole big stack of receipts is like all of my Menards receipts from, from the whole build and there's more. <laughs> the first thing that I bought for the van build was the insulation and the polystyrene itself was $82.60. Uh, I believe I bought four big panels of that and then Reflectix stuff that I put on the floor, and that was $32.89. So the total for the insulation costs ended up being $115.49. As far as adhesives, all of those things totaled to $83.69. And then there was all of the wood involved for buy or building the van. Uh, most of the interior is wood. I had to buy cedar planking, which is the walls and the ceiling. It 
totaled $161.82. The laminate flooring was $122.64 which is quite expensive considering it's just like a small patch of the floor. Probably not something you have to spend as much money on. You could probably do something much cheaper. All of the other kind of boards for like constructing the bed frame and the thing that holds the mirror up and the cabinets and that kind of sort of thing is all um, just construction lumber. That's the cheapest I could get and then I stained it. All of this wood stuff all totaled together ended up coming to $511.38. So that is the majority of the build. Um, almost everything in here is wood. So 500 bucks to get the interior looking the way it looks right now is pretty decent. Paint and stain, uh, obviously I painted these walls white and then I stained all these other things that came to $20.92. Hardware, all the screws and nails, and I don't think I use nails. Uh, cabinet hardware actually ended up being, I think, the most expensive thing on this list of hardware. Um, all the, like, little knobs on these cabinets and, like, the handles and stuff uh, and, like, locks and whatever that I've used came out to $37.99. So cabinet hardware really added up quick. I could, probably could have bought cheaper, but whatever. I bought a lot of Velcro. Uh, that was like $25. Don't ask me why. I can't even tell you. I can't remember why I bought that much Velcro. Interesting. At least I'm being transparent. I think I bought, yeah, I only bought four packs of Velcro. Uh, most of the things on my counter are held down with Velcro. I'm sure I've used it other places. Velcro is my friend. A hitch ring, which I have on the outside of my van for a hammock. Hex nut, rubber washer, cabinet hardware shoulder hooks. Oh, for hanging the cutting boards. So I just have these little two L hooks that stick out from the cabinet and then the cutting board just hangs right here. Corner brace for holding the fridge in place. Velcro tabs, jigsaw blade. I had to replace my dad's um, a couple times. And then curtain hooks, screws, washers, locking nuts, bolts, drill bits, and garment hook. Oh yeah garment hook because I have like a hook up there for hanging garments. <laughs> all in all, the hardware came to $121.46. Then there was like some random, random shit that I bought that, you know, you probably won't buy or don't need to buy or uh, that's just put in the etc. category. This etc. stuff, probably not necessary. My biggest expense on this one was uh, the counters. The counters were really expensive. They were, were tile, or they are tile. They're not. They, they are no longer tile. No, they're tile. I did not know tiling was that crazy and expensive and f kind of frustrating. So bear in mind that's a learning curve for me. But I spent two hundred and sixty-one dollars and eighty-one cents on the tile just for my count, like these small little L-shaped counters. That's crazy. I also bought a socket and wrench set which was $119.94. If you're doing a van build, you should have a socket set probably. A lot of anything that's already pre-existing in the van is going to have used bolts. Uh, when I was building things into the van, it was a lot more screws. Um, so those were the two giant costs in this etc. category. The rest are like goggles because I was getting like a d bunch of dust from the saw, dust stuff in my eyes, um, a hacksaw, I don't know why I have a hacksaw, who knows. Um, zip ties for holding cables away from like moving parts that are under my van because I ran cables to my battery. So zip ties were good for holding those away and like holding cords in place. An insect screen, which is this, oh, you can't see it, it's this thing. It's really little, this thing. So this, my little hood pops out. It was already, it already existed in the van. Bought the bug screen stuff for that. And then a couple of extension cords just to have in here. And that all came out to $445.45. So another big chunk of money that doesn't really need to be in the van build. And then the last category that I have is the appliance slash just living stuff that kind of is the 
you know, like all the stuff I use on a daily basis. Let's see what's the most expensive thing I spent on. My Dometic fridge and its adapter uh, were definitely the most expensive thing, but also I would say one of the best things. Super worth it. I would buy a Dometic cooler. I don't remember what size my cooler is, but it's pretty small and it fits a lot of food and it's great and I get cold food. What more could a girl ask for? The other two things in this category are the battery. I bought a deep cycle marine battery, which sits behind my driver's side seat. And that is how I get my power for, you know, plugging my phone in or whatever I need. It's also what I have my fridge hooked up to. And that's connected to my starter battery and it just charges while I drive and I'm working on getting solar panels. Whew. So those were the most expensive things. I also bought a camper stove, like my little whisper light camper stove. I bought it. I bought that one because I was like, well, this will be good if I decide to go camping, like backpack camping, because it's super tiny and light. Um, it's not the most practical thing for a van. So that was $154.25. And you know, I also would call that non-essential. Um, I probably will go buy like a little Coleman gas stove. I think it would make a lot more sense in here. So I bought a little desk fan to keep cool at night. Um, the camping stove, I bought a mini vacuum, which I actually don't even have in the van anymore. And that was like $25. I don't know what I was thinking. Again, the deep cycle battery, all the things for the connections of the wires, um, an inverter, my Dometic fridge and its adapter, water jug. I bought wine holders. I don't, again, like just putting these things in here because I actually spent money on them. Don't have the wine holders in here. That was dumb. I don't know. <laughs> um, my magnetic knife rack from Ikea, which just holds all my silverware. My pop-up wash basin, my camp shower. I bought a set of plastic bowls and plates and cups. Battery light. Oh, I bought battery lights, these things. These things that turn on. They're just little, little, you can't see them because I have plants. They're little lights. They're just from Walmart and they're, um, they basically just stick on and they take AAA batteries and you just touch them and they come on. And that way I don't have to deal with wiring them all the way to my battery and just stealing battery power. Uh, I bought a cutting board for in my counter and then a small broom. Buy a broom, like buy a little hand broom uh, for your van. It's like five bucks and it's, a lifesaver. My van floor gets dirty every other second. And then, the, oh, the mattress. Um, my mattress was $154.25 and uh, that I bought on Amazon. And it's, uh, I think it's a full size and it's super comfy and it's like memory foam and I love it. It's probably the nicest mattress I've ever had. I feel like that's relatively cheap for a mattress. So that all came out to a thousand dollars, three hundred and fifty. Wait, let's try that again. One thousand three hundred and fifty dollars and seventeen cents. That's a lot of money in the appliance slash living stuff, and a lot of that stuff I didn't end up actually using for a long time. I'm gonna say the most essential parts of those ones are probably the battery, and the fridge, and the mattress, and those things came out to one thousand. $70.12. That's a lot of numbers, a lot of like random list offs. Sorry, this is such a boring video. Um, I'm hoping it helps somebody kind of gauge price wise what's going on. Obviously, all of these things you could probably do more frugally. I wasn't trying to be really cheap. I mean, I'm pretty cheap to begin with. <laughs> Say that out loud, Hannah. <laughs> I'm pretty thrifty, usually. This time around, I just didn't feel like being that thrifty. So, I mean, things didn't, I wasn't always spending like top dollar, but I wasn't also trying to scrape by on every penny. Now I'm gonna total together all of the columns I think are essential and take out all the things that I don't think a van build would need, like if you were doing it. Buying the van itself, not including uninstalling all the metal junk, which was my own problem comes out to $2,653. And that's for the van and for the taxes and fees. After buying the van, you start with insulation. And that for me came out to $115.49. So now we're at $2,768.49. And then there was all the adhesives. Now we're at $2,852.18. And then all of the wood came out to 511 and 38 
eight cents. So now we're at three thousand three hundred and sixty-three cent dollars, not cents. That's a lot of cents. Three thousand three hundred and sixty-three dollars and fifty-six cents. Adding on paint and stain, three thousand three hundred eighty-four and forty-eight cents. And then going on to hardware, so now we're at three thousand five hundred five dollars and ninety-four cents. And now we're at the columns that are kind of iffy. I wouldn't call this stuff uh, necessary for the build. I would say this stuff is all kind of up to you, whether you want to be buying, you know, toolboxes and mirrors and uh, tiles for your counters. I'm going to take that out just because, yeah, for my build, I had that in there. But to build a van, you don't need all that stuff. So I'm going to take that out. That's not going to exist in the price. Appliance and living stuff. That we decided, the important stuff was, we decided, I'm the only one talking, I decided, the important stuff would be the deep cycle battery and all of its components and the inverter and then the Dometic fridge and its adapter and the mattress. If you take away all of the unnecessary things that I spent money on, the build cost comes out to $4,574.11, which I think is pretty doable. Now I'm going to go even further and say if I took off from that, if I took off the van and just talked about the build cost, everything including like the battery and mattress and all that stuff and all of the the build materials, all of that came out to $1,921.11. Not bad. I don't know. I never know what to say. I feel it feels like I'm just regurgitating information at you guys, but maybe this is helpful for you. Um, I think having kind of a more detailed look at how much you end up spending and where it's like a little like, oh, I didn't think I'd be spending that much on cabinet handles, <laughs> you know, um, kind of maybe gives you more of a gauge on what you're going to be spending money on. So. I hope that was helpful. Let me know. Um, also, please let me know if you have ideas for videos. I'm kind of, I'm on like a little road trip right now. I'm just, I'm in Seattle and I'm going down to LA and I'm just kind of slowly going down there. I get really lazy on working on videos because I'm just enjoying myself so much. So it would be nice to have ideas and um, if you guys want to see more, I don't know if you want me to do more like arts and crafts while I'm in the van or you want to see the places I'm visiting or if you um, want to watch me, I don't know. Just give me ideas. Um, I would love that. So let me know. Sorry again that I'm just sitting in the van for this one, but uh, the next ones I'm going to try switch up and be a little bit more fun. Have a nice day guys. Bye.